Talk to the Head Reviews. Hello! Welcome back! Guess what? Well, today I thought that maybe I would talk a little bit about apple blossoms. Since apple blossoms are used in fragrances, and I have apple trees on my property and um, I thought that I would just cut some and bring them in and talk about them a little bit and I researched fragrances that contain apple blossom or that uh, that say that they're apple blossom influenced and so I have a list of 10 fragrances of the so please stick around if you're interested in that at all and like subscribe slap and holler and thank you for joining us here on Talk to the Hand Reviews. Aren't they lovely? Apple blossoms. Now, I do apologize that I think they're ever so slightly past. You can see that some of these little guys, uh, they're, they're done. They've already had their bloom. And uh, you know what happens is that these all become apples. Every flower becomes an apple. That's kind of mind-blowing, isn't it? But um, yeah, so I used to work as a floral designer and I actually wrote a book on floral design too. Um, and flowers are a part of my life and, and I think will always be. And they also connect with that whole fragrance thing, that whole perfume thing. And now that I'm going back into uh, the world of fragrance and cosmetics, I thought, well, you know, it all really ties in. Uh, flowers are such a huge part of that. So these are apple blossoms these are not crab wait a minute no these are apple blossoms i also have crab apple blossoms um but i missed some they're already done blooming but i might have the next group so i might have crab apple blossoms to show you too but for now i wanted to show you my beautiful apple blossoms and i'm going to talk about some fragrances but i want to describe to you what these smell like to me Okay, apple blossoms don't smell like apples. They're not at all the same kind of sweetness. So one of the things I do want to mention about apple blossoms is the, ap the fragrance of apple blossoms. It smells li a little bit like, it doesn't smell anything like apples. It's uh, Apples are a lot sweeter smelling, or the essence of apple, which you, when you go looking for a fragrance that contains the fragrance and smell of apple, it's not the same as, or it's not even similar really to the smell of apple blossoms. And uh, the only way I can describe what apple blossoms smell like, and also too, crab apple blossoms kind of smell like this. Uh, and they all smell different. Like each apple tree has its own little, mm, but what I would say is that they smell like, kind of like roses, but very soft like and I can't even think really of a flower to compare it to but it it's just like a very soft soft rose smell so what I did is I went and I researched uh, 10 apple blossom fragrances and let's see okay so first off uh, according to Fragrantica, 10 uh, top apple blossom fragrances, or 10 fragrances that contain apple blossom essence. I don't know if it's real apple blossom essence or if it's, you know, some sort of um, uh, artificial apple blossom essence, but here it goes. Uh, number 10 was called. Flor Neon Rose by Floral Street. Can't see the top of my head. <laughs> uh, Neon Rose by Floral Street. Number ten. Number nine. Uh, Fantasia Forever by Anna Sui. Number eight. Bare Vanilla Untamed by Victoria's Secret. See, so far, none of these fragrances say anything about apple blossom, but... And I have never smelled any of these fragrances. This is according to Fragrantica, says that a lot of people uh, thought that... Uh, sorry, that's wrong. What I mean is that when you when I typed in apple blossom, these are the fragrances that came out that 
that said that they had apple blossom top notes, <clears throat> I believe, top notes. They contained apple blossom, that's what they said. Uh, okay, so number, okay, number seven, Avon Local, Avon Local Nature Lavender. Avon Local Nature Lavender. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds clever. But again, lavender? Okay. Um, number six. Um, Natura. Natura Flor. Flor de Massa. Flor de Maca. I'm sorry. I probably said it wrong. Flor, Flor de Maca. De Massa. I... But I'm curious. To, I'd love to try all these fragrances. Um, okay, number five, Bath and Body Works White Jasmine. I love Bath and Body Works stuff, man. It is so fun to go there and just like, ah, they just have like, and, and a lot of times they have sale, like sale after sale after sale. Like, oh, but why get one when I can get five for the price of two? You know, I know you know what I mean. So that's pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, Bath and Body Works White Jasmine, number five. Number four, this one I know, this fragrance I know, because it's been around a while, is Tommy Hilfiger's Tommy Girl. Ah, oh, yes, I love Tommy Girl. I have never owned a bottle of it of my own, but I sure do love it, and I would love to have a bottle of my own. But you know what, I used to have, uh, I used to sing with another singer on cruise ships, and she, we roomed together and she was so fun. She had, and she was so stylish and incredibly talented and just like really, really great. And she wore Tommy Girl and I never bought it because you know how it is when you have a really good friend or when you have just someone you know and for whatever reason, oh, that's their fragrance, it's not mine. I, it's always gonna be weird if I ever wear it. I, now it's been years and years and years. I, it's been like a really, really long time and so I don't associate that fragrance with anybody now, but uh, I, I would have to say that yes, I think that it does seem, I can tell that it does seem like it is a fragrance that has apple blossom essence in it. It's a freshness. It's not a, not a really florally, it's more of a, fr it is floral, but it's, it's like a green floral sort of. That's what it is. It smells like a green floral. That's what this apple blossom smells like. They smell like green, crisp, light rose smell. Okay. Okay, where am I now? Is it number five? Number four, Tommy Girl, which I love. Number three, this sounds so interesting. Salvador Dali fragrance, I guess. La Belle et... Et l'ocelot. La belle et l'ocelot. La belle et l'ocelot. La belle et l'ocelot. I don't know what it means, but I know what ocelot means, and knowing Salvador Dali, I think it has, it probably means girl and ocelot, or something like that. But anyhow, uh, I'm excited to try it. Hey, anything that says Salvador Dali on it, like, you know, my expectations are going to be hi <laughs> okay so that seems fun uh number two this sounds interesting initio initio n i i i n i t i o i n i t i o parfum privé addictive vibration p r i v e s addictive vibration addictive vibration they get pretty crazy with these names, but like addictive vibration. Yeah, I want to try that. That sounds cool. <laughs> okay. And the number one apple blossom perfume they felt uh, for Grantica Phil's, um, Chloe C. Chloe C. I've never tried it. Original Chloe, I know intimately and very, very well because it's been around forever and it was one of those back in the day when I was behind the counter and for years after. The original Chloe, I had bottles and bottles of it and I loved it and I got compliments everywhere and I just always felt, it was just so fresh and pretty and fragrant, but never too much. Oh. And I tried the new version of Chloe and I didn't care for it at all. It smells nothing like the old Chloe and that's okay, it doesn't have to, but I remember the old Chloe and ooh, it was nice. So yeah, so, oh, and I have some bonuses. I have some bonuses because I thought, well, okay, this is what they say, but none of those 
were called apple blossom or apple or anything like that. So I thought, well, I, I just went and looked a little further and I did find a few more. Um, Florabello Eau de Toilette by Diptyque. It says that they it has apple blossom notes. Um, crab apple blossom, Clive Christian crab apple blossom. Which, like I said, this is a this is an apple blossom, not a crab apple blossom. They are a little different, but I'll include it anyways. Um, Clive Christian crab apple blossom, and it says that that was designed by Crabtree and Evelyn. So I guess that that you buy that through Crabtree and Evelyn, but I don't know for sure. So sorry about that, but that was where my research had to end for the time I had today. Uh, but it sounds nice. Um, Ooh, another Salvador Dali fragrance called Fabulous Xian Xian, I think it's pronounced. Xian Xian. Fabulous T-I-A-N-S-H-A-N. -N. Fabulous Xian Xian. Xian Xian. Cute. Another one. I can't wait to try that. I'm going to I'm gonna try these. Sometime, I know. Um, and that is made by... Oh, wait. Did I make a mistake? Okay. And then the last one is called... Mala Crab Apple and Moss by the Henny Fair Co. Uh, wait a minute, or is it called Crab Apple Blossoms by the Hen Henny Fair Co? Uh, you know, I'm sorry, I, I can't help but confuse myself. Anyways, Henny Fair Co's Mala Crab Apple and Moss. Yeah, I think that's it. So there you go 10 plus 4, 14. Crab apple, sorry, 14 apple blossom fragrances. Not apple fragrances, that's different. Apple blossom fragrances. And my apple blossoms, my dear beloved apple blossoms. And these little guys will not make it to applehood, but a lot of the other ones will. And maybe I'll end up showing you some of those too and some of my floral arrangements and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you so much for visiting me, for coming back to my channel and uh, just enjoying the same kinds of things that I enjoy. Um, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye! Hello. So, there are a few more things I did want to talk about with the apple blossom. Um, just a few little interesting things. For instance, as early, oh, this is according to Candace Hunter over at Practical Herbalist. As early as 8,000 BC, there is evidence that the apple was often associated with magic, paradise, and the gifts of knowledge and sensual experience. The fruit of the gods and the word Avalon is thought to be derived from an old Irish word meaning the place of apples. Unicorns have been associated with the apple tree, and word has it they love the fruits, so next time you see one, you'll know what to offer it. And you know it makes sense, right? A horsey is a horsey. You know, horses like apples. Anyways, many famous artists have been enthralled with the apple blossom, and history has shown their homage to the fragrant flower. Here's a painting by Jasper Francis Cropsey from 1887 called Apple Blossoms. And also, uh, Claude Monet. I didn't even know this at all. I love Claude Monet. I'm, I like, I'm, a, I'm a, an art fan, but I'm not a real um, student of art. Like I'm, I'm a, you know, an armchair student, but I really, really love it. But I, you know, I'm not really studied, but I like Claude Monet a lot. I like his impressionist style. And uh, apparently he had uh, such an affinity for uh, apple trees that he created many artworks depicting them. Here is Apple Trees in Blossom. Not to be confused with Apple Trees in Bloom. That's another one of his many works dedicated to the apple blossom. There were a lot. I kind of got confused at first. And then I saw, I was like, what, what, what? Oh yeah, Apple Trees in Blossom. Oh, wait a minute, Apple Trees in Bloom. Oh, wait a minute. And then I, so he really liked them. Anyhow, and many today um, love the apple blossom. And here's a contemporary artist's piece I really loved as I just went trying to find what's out there. Uh, I really loved it because it is my reality. When I cut a few branches outside and bring them in, I love the way this artist captured that. And, uh, you know, if you like this painting, like I'm not, you know, able to be purchasing original art at this moment, but like, I, I think this is a really pretty one at $250 for original art. I think that's really reasonable, especially because it's gorgeous. You know, it's, 
it's 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 one of those things. It's not a strange art where it's going to be, if you know, if it's passed to somebody else, they're not going to be like, oh well, what are we all going to do with the the painting of the old sea captain? <laughs> what are we all going to do with that painting of what you know? I mean, it's kind of one of those things where sometimes art is like, mm, this is the kind of thing a picture of an apple blossom most people are going to love. Anyhow, uh, thank you again uh, for joining me and. Um, Again, please, if you like this kind of content, come on back to see me again. Okay, thank you very much, all you lovely ladies and handsome gentlemen, and I look forward to talking to you and seeing you in the near future. Talk to the Hand Review.